Today's Bible study is titled Stand Fast in Liberty. After showing by allegory that saved members of the body of Christ in this dispensation of the grace of God are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free, Galatians 4 verse 31, as pertains to the law, Paul now reaches a major teaching. And that teaching is a, therefore, from the allegory concluded in Galatians 4 verse 31, and everything else to this point in the Galatian epistle, since the allegory taught that we are not under the bondage of the Mosaic law, rather we are free. Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5 verse 1 only a single verse, today, but we could speak of this for months and still not truly do it justice. Let's take a closer look. With the uh, therefore upon which this statement is founded understood, we must first define liberty and the yoke of bondage before we can address stand fast. Elsewhere, in the Apostle Paul's second epistle to the Corinthian believers he noted, now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 And our liberty in Christ is something that Christ gave us when we believed the gospel of grace, by grace through faith and were placed in union with him in the church which is his body, example, wherewith Christ hath made us free. In fact, you cannot separate the liberty in Christ of the believer from being in Christ. There is an obvious direct foundational association between that liberty and the truth that Christ has made us free. So, liberty in Christ is quite literally the very fiber of what Christ has given us, namely freedom from the yoke of bondage, which is seeking to live by the law outside of Israel's new covenant which never pertained to Gentiles and cannot pertain to the body of Christ. For per Romans 3 verse 20, By the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Thus, the ministry of the law prior to the future institution of the new covenant, Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 24, for Israel is one designed to reveal and condemn sin and sinners. Never was it in the mind of God that any member of the body of Christ would seek to place themselves back under the very yoke of bondage from which the fulfilled gospel of the grace of God delivered them. And yet this is exactly what many in Christendom still seek to do, either intentionally or by seeking to live under the gospel of the kingdom which in this dispensation of grace is another gospel, which is not another, Galatians L 6-7. Paul has, by this point in the Galatian epistle, shown in multiple ways that the attempted living under the law is not for members of the body of Christ. If you have time, Go back and review what has been shared regarding Galatians 1-4 to and you'll see how he has aimed at reaching the conclusion of today's instruction, all along. Believer, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5 verse 1 Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.